Zadondani, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Nerd Chat here on Electro Ninja's Lab. Uh, I am here with Captain Jack. Uh, Joker is not here today, um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, these past few weeks have been a bit chaotic, haven't they? <laughs> with all the nerdy, oh yeah, sh- with all the nerdy shit like Star Wars <laughs> and Scandar too. That was. Uh, um, obviously you guys, uh, you guys still haven't read it, um, you're, but you're planning on getting it soon, right? Correct. Okay. So, um, but also like Star Wars, it's, uh, like obviously May the 4th, that was, uh, that was just a few days ago, or I guess a few weeks now, um, <laughs> but it's, it's, this is the May, so there, uh, so there we go, still have some fun, um, so, I'm curious, did you ever read um, Star Wars Ronin? I did not. Okay. Have you read any of the Star Wars books? Uh, I mean, I've read the original trilogy. Okay. Uh, and that's it? Yep. Okay. So, um, I've read a few uh, I've read a few more. Uh, I have read firstly, obviously Star Wars Ronin, which is uh, not canon, um, but it's basically uh, continuing the story from Visions, where uh, with the uh, guy who had uh, with the Sith guy who's actually a good guy. I don't, did you watch? Did you watch all of Visions or no? No. Did you watch any of Visions? Nope. Okay. So um, obviously that uh, that uh, <laughs> that is a little bit of a spoiler, but yeah, there's a uh, one of the episode uh, one of the first episodes of Visions, the first season. Um, uh, there was an episode where, um, a Sith guy has basically become a Ronin and he goes around, uh, um, facing off against other warlords and stuff. Um, but they made a book out of it and it was really good. So I, I, I've read that. And then I've also read, um, one of the High Republic books and the, um, Jedi book, which is basically uh, the sequel to Jedi uh, Fallen Order, and it goes between Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor. Um, which also, uh, I was hearing a lot of things when that uh, when that book came out that it was basically going to be the connecting piece between the two ser- uh, between the two uh, games, and it is not like at all. <laughs> Like there is no, no. It's basically just another adventure, some point between the two. Um, oh, and, and like <laughs> there is like clearly there is some of the um, disagreement between the characters at that point, but it's kind of weird. Uh, also, it's revealed that um, Marin from that series is apparently uh, bisexual. Uh, probably Interesting. More, more accurately to be Pan, but, um, yeah, so she, uh, she basically will, um, uh, so that's really, uh, it's kind of funny though, because of the fact that like at the end of the first book, it was like clear or the first game, it was clearly hinted that she and Cal were going to get together. Um, mm. and then that is not the case in the, uh, in the book. Uh, she is. Uh, she starts crushing on a uh, on a stormtrooper who's a girl, and um, then with that, uh, uh, and then kind of starts to realize that she has feelings for Cal at the end of the book, um, because they are together in uh, uh, like they're not together at the beginning of Fallen Order or Survivor, but they are together by the end of it apparently, because apparently they share a kiss. I see. So there's that, um, but yeah. So it's it's kind of weird. I I haven't played much, and I don't want to give too much spoilers. Most of what I've said is just like stuff that um you you find out throughout uh, that is fairly self explanatory, and you kind of should know some of that before you get into uh whatever that book was. So yeah. Um. But yeah, there's a uh, there's a lot of fun. Uh, it's kind of funny. There's so many um, Star Wars books, and you just it's overloading. <laughs> to be completely honest, yeah. Uh, like I've told you guys about the manga before. Um, those are a bit. Uh, those 
and I've said before, I I really do think that um, which one? Uh, Lost Stars is canon, and that um, the main characters in that are um, uh, freaking what's her name's par- uh, Ray's parents. Um, speaking of which, I think that it might have actually been the plan at some point that that was actually going to be the case. Interesting. Um, basically, the reason I say that is because uh, you've watched um, Resistance, correct? Yeah. And you love uh, you love it, and you've watched the entire thing. Yeah. Okay. So um, near the beginning of that. Um, a few times they mention the Battle of Jakku, which, keep in mind that the uh, that first season is completely before the first ep- uh, the first movie of uh, uh, of the sequel trilogy. So, what are they talking about? The Battle of Jakku, um, and uh, the answer is actually in Lost Stars. Like they actually, uh, so there is a battle. Right uh, above Jakku, um, b- uh, that is basically the final scene, uh, the final battle in Lost Stars, and it's basically the destruct, uh, the last bit of destruction of the Empire. It's kind of interesting, huh? Um, uh, absolutely. Get, if you ever get the chance, you should absolutely read the books. And so, one hundred percent, I think that Lost Stars is canon. But what exactly that means for the, uh, for it, I don't know. We'll we'll have to wait and see if they ever like give like confirmation that yes, these are actually these were always meant to be Ray's parents. Um, who knows? It, it m- may never come up at all. But um, I think that it, it would be kind of funny to actually find out that yeah, that was the plan from the get go that these two characters were going to be Ray's parents. But, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, you haven't watched much of the uh, Star Wars stuff, right? The Like, the TV shows and s- such? Correct. Okay. I'm forgetting what you've watched. <laughs> None. Uh, so, uh, so, you've only watched the uh, movies and the Clone Wars and Re- uh, uh, Resistance and Rebels? Yep. Okay. So, you haven't watched any of the Disney Plus sh- stuff nope okay so you absolutely should at some point uh obviously you have other things that you need to do um but at some point uh, you should absolutely watch them because like some of them are just absolutely great especially uh bad batch i think that you would absolutely love that with the found family aspect um but yeah anyways so uh, what's currently uh, what have you been reading slash watching recently anyways um, reading slash watching. I've been reading. Let's see, what have I been reading? I was reading my vampire teenage romance. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you're what? You're reading a vampire teenage romance. Yeah. Uh. You, you might want to clarify what exactly that is, because it's... Uh, well, it's not Twilight. Okay, good. <laughs> because Twilight is garbage. We all know this. <laughs> Amen, brother. And uh, here come the fi- uh, the Twilight fans destroying us in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, my gosh. But, um, yeah, so... So what? Uh, so what is it about? Is it just like an actual cute romance thing? Well, no. So like, basically, there's this girl named Grace, and she gets sent to this school. And for the fir- most of the first book, they don't tell her it's a school for paranormals. Okay. So we got vampires, witches, dragon shapeshifters, werewolves. Uh, and, like, it's kind of basically like Nevermore Academy, really, from, from Wednesday. Okay. Interesting. Same, same smell. Okay. And 
she goes there, and at the end of the book, you find out why she's there, like why she is at a paranormal school and why it's appropriate. Okay. So is this uh, an it was like book, a book, or is it a, a comic book thing? Uh, it's an actual book. It's a book series. There are six books. Okay. What's it called? Crave. Crave? Okay. I'm going to look it up to see if it's on Audible. It's pretty good. Uh, by Tracy Wolf? Yep. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to add that to my wish list, and maybe I'll check it out at some point. Do it. So, uh, so yes, tell us about this. Do you want spoilers or no? Uh, don't uh, don't do too much spoilers because I'm sure that many of uh, uh, there uh, we're probably gonna convince people to go read it. But like simple things. So, uh, this guy she meets is a vampire. Okay. They don't say that directly uh, for a while, but you know. Okay. Like, you you know. Yeah, fair enough. It's not hidden from the reader. It's hidden from Grace, the main character. Okay. And eventually Grace figures it all out. Her, her cousin is a witch. Her uncle is a wizard. All right. She figures it out. And that's fine. And she finds out that Flint, her buddy, is a dragon. And a lot of these guys she meets, actually, and who she ends up hanging out with are the princes, princes and princesses of the different court orders of paranormals. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, so there's always drama going on. So let me guess, she is also uh, in that position as well she is but it's really funny because it's by accident okay so she's in that position because she in the second book she um well we probably shouldn't talk too much about book. it but yeah um we'll just say that i uh, i predicted it in like a f second <laughs> What? That she uh, that she is a uh, um uh, that she's important. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that that's interesting. Um speaking of which, uh so I, I told you the other day that um uh there are some light novels on Audible now. Um but I, I didn't really tell you which series they were, I don't think. Except, uh, or I, I might have told you some of it. But I just think it's funny that, um... Apparently there are some, but it's, like, the ones you wouldn't expect. <laughs> like, the uh, some of the, uh... Like... It's Rising of the Shield Hero, Overlord, So I'm a Spider, So What, and Reincarnated as, as a Familiar. Those are the, uh, series that I have, um... That I'm interested in that are available on Audible. There's probably more. Um, there's definitely more, but I just those are the ones that I know of. Um, but I just think it's funny because there's like a whole bunch of random series that are light novels that have been made into audiobooks in Japan, but for whatever reason, they're just not in English. Like no one has ever done uh, taking care of it in english interesting um so like uh one of the biggest examples is ascendance of a bookworm which is one of the long uh, one of the longer running series um there's also that time i got reincarnated as a slime uh reincarnated as a sword reincarnated as a dragon hatchling uh and so on and so forth there are many light novels that you would expect them to actually do these things because they are like really popular and stuff like that. But no, it's like these series that are probably like the least popular of their specific genre, which yeah, weird. Um like 
Rising of the Shield Hero. Very, uh, it's not a series that most people would actually go to. Like, considering the fact that the main character is falsely accused of rape, like, near the beginning of the series, it's like, that's not something that you would just open up, the uh, that you would... If you open that up, you're not going to be like, oh, yeah, I want to continue reading this series, unless you, like, are uh, are actually kind of, like, have dealt with uh, that sort of situation <laughs> before. Um, a lot of people have very big issues with the series because of that, um, because they, uh, they consider it to basically be um, kind of saying that it never happens, which is not, uh, uh, is not true. Um, but there's a lot of things with that and it's not, we're not good. I'm not going to go into all of that, but, um, and then overlord, like, very few people, I, I, well, I don't know about very few. A lot less people care about that than a lot of other series because it is basically a series about a guy who gets reincarnated as the villain, and even though he doesn't necessarily want to be the villain. Um, and then, uh, so I'm a spider, so what? She gets reincarnated as a spider. Big whoop. Um, and then reincarnated as a familiar, again, big whoop. That's not a huge deal. Um, but I just think it's funny that that's the situation that they're in. Um, meanwhile, many other series, which absolutely should get, uh, actual audiobooks, just don't, for whatever reason. That's weird. Yeah. You'd think that, like, since they're just a book. Yeah. You'd think that more of the, uh, that more light novels at least would get, um, uh, would actually get translated and made into audiobooks, but for whatever reason, they just don't. Um, like I can I can understand if it's like a co uh, like a manga. Like obviously, you're not going to be able to. Uh, that's what anime is for. But um, <laughs> like I can under yeah I can understand sure. not wanting to do that because obviously there are visuals and you can't really make those into an audiobook very easily. Um. But these are light novels, which, which should make it, like, one of the easiest things to do. Um, and I think I told you, like, um, out of, like, 20 books, that, uh, light novels that I own, it's only four. And I don't even own most of those. I, uh, most of those four. Uh, I only own uh, Rising of the Shield Hero. Um... And the rest, uh, so Overlord, So I'm Aspire, So What, and Reincarnated as a Familiar, I don't even own those. I do own um, a manga version of So I'm Aspire, So What, but that's it. So, I don't know. It's just kind of funny that that's the situation that we're currently in. That is interesting. Yeah. Um, like, obviously, I know that you don't really have as easy of a time with audiobooks as, like, I, uh, as I do. Yeah. Um, but also, like, I'm dyslexic, and <laughs> audiobooks are a better option for me than actually reading. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to eventually get through and um, read, uh, listen to some of those. Um, but they're a bit lower on my priority list compared to, say, uh, the rest of the Rick Riordan series. Uh <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have to get through so much of that. Um, I currently own two of the uh, Magnus Chase books on Audible, so I will be listening to those. Bef uh, I am currently listening to the first one, and the second one won't be too long. But, yeah. Uh, but after that, then it's just uh, Apollo and Daughter of the Deep, and finally uh, the newest book. I think that, uh, and oh, so I'm I'm approaching actually reading like all of the Rick Riordan books soon. Are you reading Rick Riordan presents too? I am not going to do the uh, presents ones, um, unless you think that I should. Nope. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing the Nico D'Angelo one because of the fact that that's um, like I know that uh, because one it is actually partially written by him. Um, right. But also two. Nico is amazing. True, we love Nico. Yeah. Um I also uh 
I'm trying to read Demigods and Magicians, which is the uh, book about uh, how uh, Percy and Annabeth met the Canes. Oh, yeah. Um, but that's obviously not on Audible for whatever reason. Like, you can... Yeah. Uh, like, I don't understand why they never did, but they don't even have it, like, listed as... It's just not available yet. Um, <laughs> they just don't have it whatsoever. Uh, so I don't know. It's weird. Um, maybe eventually they will put it in there, but for now it's it's not. Um, it's also one of the shorter books, so whatever. But yeah, I'll get to that eventually. Um, it's just taking me some time because obviously I have other I have other books to read. <laughs> oh my gosh. But also, Zelda came out this week. That's true, and Joey has been obsessed with it. <laughs> Have you played it at all, or no? No, I haven't got it yet. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's okay. Um, I'd say that I prefer the um, Breath of the Wild a little bit more. Wow, really? Oh, just a little bit. Like, not a whole lot. Um, it's mostly because it's a bit overwhelming at certain points. And I'm also trying to be a lot more, um, ever, basically my reason for why I'm not as interested in it is because of how much everyone is going crazy for it. Um, so many people, uh, basically my entire, uh, my entire internet feed at this point in time is nothing but Zelda. And I'm just like. Can it please chill your will? There's like a thousand things going on. I don't need to be overwhelmed with this right now. Um, so, like, I'm seeing all of these things where, oh, yeah, you can do this, this, and this. And I'm like, I just want to play this game. <laughs> I don't even really want to. Uh, I, I want to go into it blind, but it's pretty much impossible to do that. Um, so... Yeah, I've already uh, I've already watched some videos on it, and it's just like, great. Now I need to do that stuff, and I don't know. Eventually, I, I think I might um, take a break from it for a little while, and um, just let the uh, let the internet calm down, and then once it's calmed down a bit, then I'll actually sit down and play through it. But for now, it's yeah, uh, that... yeah. Um, but yeah, like. Like I said, the internet is completely overwhelming it, and it's just like, chill, it's a new game, it's not the best game in the world, blah 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 blah, it's a game, it's, like, it's, uh, a lot of people are like, it's not DLC, and people are saying that it is, and it's like, no, it is not DLC, it is a fresh new game, it is a continuation of the story, there's a lot of new areas, and all of the areas that previously existed have changed significantly, but at the same time, you, you can't just be like, it's a completely new and original game, blah 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 blah, it's not, it's a continuation, I don't, I don't know. Just chill your will. It's it's a sequel game. No one really uh, like. Yes, this is the first time that Zelda has actually done that, where a game is legitimately actually a sequel from the previous one. But at the same time, like no one cares. But I don't know. Some people care. Well, some people. Yeah, care. people care. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't care. It it's a game. We're done. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that I'm going to get a whole bunch of flack from the, uh, saying that, but it's like, dude, I got a pre-order bonus from the, uh, for the game and I got the freaking OLED for it. I, I did. I, I am actually really excited for the game. I just need people to chill, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I am still excited to play it eventually, uh, to get through it eventually, but I'm also like wanting to get through Jedi Survivor and Persona 5 and like a bunch of other games that I've had on my back, uh, my back shelf for like months or years at this point. Um, not to mention the fact that Pokemon's DLC is coming out before too long. Yeah. So yeah, I need it. 
I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably play uh, get around to it eventually, um, as well as I'm planning on doing some... Uh, before long, there will be. Uh, pe uh, I'm sure that some people are all, uh, are are wondering, "Hey, where is these videos that have been missing for a while?" I'll get around to them eventually. I'm just there's a lot going on uh, outside of this, so um, some videos are uh, some videos that I've been kind of promising. Uh, they're just going to be a little bit late uh, for those of you who have been wondering, um, such as my Scandar spoilerific review. I am getting around to it. I just. I'm literally going to be recording each section as basically a chapter, going over each chapter. That's how spoilerific this that review is going to be. So it's going to be a long one, and it's going to take me a lot longer than I expected at first. So when that comes out, you guys will enjoy it. I think that it, um, it's just going to be a really long video. <laughs> uh, and then also um, my... Uh, my miraculous reviews, uh, they will be coming back soon. I just need a little bit of time to deal with the, uh, other things first. So, anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, leave your thoughts and theories down in the comments below, and we will see you guys next time. Badon! Love you, bye!